So another paper has come out discussing vaccine effectiveness. But what's interesting about this particular publication is that it looked at the vaccine effectiveness against the Omicron family of variants. So the most recent data we have available. And once again, there was a demonstration. There's now a third such demonstration that I have come across that shows eventually negative vaccine effectiveness against infection. However, what's also interesting about this particular publication is that the authors also looked at vaccine effectiveness against hospitalizations and those are very different outcomes. So let's discuss that. My name is Dr. Mikola Rashek of Mera Genomics <laughs> and I gotta let you know I'm hiking very steep trail so my apologies for my breathing or the wind but I definitely at least want to attempt to see if I can capture these beautiful views for your benefit. And another comment is that this was a preprint. So what that means is that it hasn't been peer reviewed yet. So keep that in mind because it always could mean that after peer review, this data might be rejected and be considered inaccurate, for example, or that problems might be discovered in author's analysis of information but that's what we have for now so let's talk about that these authors looked at specifically the moderna mrna mrna injection they looked at the first six months of 2022 amongst california patients and they analyzed about 120,000 patients 30,000 of which approximately were infected and based on this data, they were able to analyze the vaccine effectiveness and they looked at vaccine effectiveness against infection and hospitalization against the BA1 variant, BA2 variant, BA2.1, 2.1 variant, finally BA4 and 5. So the latest, latest variants as well of the Omicron family, some of which are still obviously with us. So what did they find so then let's summarize the information after third dose of the injection mrna and moderna injection within the first 30 days such injection provided quite a good protection against infection it ranged somewhere between give or take for all of the variants i just mentioned between somewhere 75 and maybe 95 or 90% protection depending on the variant if you wonder normally the older the variant the greater the protection the newer the variant we're seeing the lower the protection in general however after 150 days or about five months the story changed dramatically and vaccine effectiveness against infection for BAY variant BA1 variant was still about 55%, pretty good, but it turned negative for the BA2 family of variants, so it was about minus 25% vaccine effectiveness. What does that mean? It means that vaccinated individuals, in comparison to the unvaccinated individuals, were more likely to be infected with the virus. So the protection not only wanes, but also then eventually does not work in a in a in vaccinated individuals favor but again stay tuned because we're going to contrast that against hospitalizations which is a very different story okay now and it was about minus 17 percent vaccine effectiveness against the ba4 and ba5 variant now get closer to the edge so you can Enjoy the views that I'm enjoying. <laughs> and uh, so clearly the effectiveness wanes. And they even compared the thir three doses against two doses. And they were able to show that after 150 days, three doses are worse than two doses for BA2 variants and onwards against protection from infection okay now they also looked at four doses again as well so fourth dose would mean 
second booster and what they were finding out that once you took the fourth fourth shot you were able to regain some of that protection against infection so now you were looking at approximately in the first 30 days approximately 65 to 75 percent protection against BA2 variants BA1 wasn't assessed because the injection fourth injection was not available yet so very few very little data was available to assess that statistically on any accurate level but for BA4 and 5 the protection was approximately 30% within within the first 30 days so you can see trend is already similar but but after 90 days and they didn't test any for any longer because the injection was not available for any longer duration of time is uh, the protection was about 14 to 17 percent vaccine effectiveness against the BA2 variants and about 5 to 6 percent against the BA4, BA5 variants with the fourth shot so you can see same pattern that eventually the effectiveness of the vaccine against protection from infection by the virus disappears rapidly as well wouldn't be a surprise to see that eventually it might go negative as well with a longer duration of time but now what about hospitalization and this is where the vaccines really shine and this is where the power of the vaccines still are very evident because remember this is comparison between vaccinated and unvaccinated and with the with the third oh and by the way the fourth shot retained about 40 to 70 percent effectiveness against infection in comparison to th third shot within that 90 day time frame okay now against hospitalization be a third shot of the moderna mrna vaccine was very high it was about 98 percent effectiveness against hospitalization for the BA1 variant so the original one now what I mean by hospitalization here to make it clear this was also what I found interesting is that the author specifically defined hospitalization as individuals who present clear COVID-19 symptoms so that means they are being hospitalized because of the infection and not with the virus okay for something else so they they were assessing specifically for the actual negative outcomes to your health in relation to the infection so about 98 percent protection within um, with against BA1 and that was about low 80s against BA2 variants and low 70s against BA4 and 5 variants now with the fourth shot that improved that for protection even a bit more Again, ignore the BA1 variant because that wasn't available, the data wasn't available because the variant wasn't around anymore. But uh, also, it retained about 96% vac vaccine effectiveness against BA2 variants and high 80s vaccine effectiveness against hospitalization against BA4 and 5. So, it's a trade off, and the trade off is. If you get the booster shot, you get very temporary protection against infection that eventually wanes and will potentially work against you, as in it can increase your likelihood of being infected, <clears throat> but it will protect you against negative outcomes associated with severe disease, okay? So that's the trade we're looking at and very valuable information so i wanted to share that with you all right speaking of sharing i also wanted to let you know we have another covid q a event information is in the description also the first 10 people who subscribe to our newsletter after this video will send you free tickets to that event it's basically q a session and uh 
and the link to the new sledder subscription is available in the description and if you already a subscriber and you never managed to get a free ticket email us and we'll send you a free ticket if there's still free tickets available we have another event coming up as well that's for business owners and it's a proactive well-being program for business employees where me and two other experts teach about different arenas of of protection which is financial well-being mental health well-being as well as physical well-being which i teach but from the point of view of uh, involving genetics of how you can use genetics to protect yourself from negative future health outcomes and then finally i wanted to let you know please check out the the video series i'm i'm working on which is how you can improve your optimism in order to improve your immune system the reason why i'm so interested in, in this is because it's a non-invasive way of attempting to improve your immune system all you have to do is literally do some mental exercises very fascinating so i basically review the science available behind that information so please check it out because i think we all should be protecting our immune system to the greatest greatest extent possible because obviously we're all getting infected with with different viruses right so boosting your immune system is is important in any way and this is very unusual because literally you can do it through your mind apparently so check that out and finally i also have a ongoing survey where you can uh, express your interest in the epigenetic test that looks at your biological aging which you can use as a surrogate marker for how well your health is doing and it's and you can alter your biological aging based on your lifestyle choices so please uh subscribe to the channel if you haven't already leave us a comment share the video uh if you haven't already and thank you to all of you who are doing this thank you for all the comments i cannot answer all the comments um, but i love being able to join once in a while and and uh, interact with what feels like a giant global family and then finally thank you for everyone who has provided super thanks and i look forward to seeing you next time bye everyone